It's already third year I'm telling the same story to you, almost the same story. We have some uh, development here. And um, yes, I will give the overview about the uh, design uh, uh, process and sections and how far we are with, um, with uh, design tenders. It's, even if this is the third year, still yesterday some people asked for me what exactly this TTT means and what exactly we are designing. Is it civil works? Is it uh, signaling? Is it all together or not? That is the scope of our design. So uh, we are not designing uh, electrification on this moment and we are not designing uh, signaling and communication now. These designs will be later together with uh, construction. We are now doing all, everything what's related to the civil works. We are designing the railway, uh, embankment, tracks, uh, viaducts, um, bridges, green viaducts, everything what's related to, the, to the, this part of the railway. What is in the scope of the design uh, then? Um, site service, of course. Uh, each country have done the premium designs and they are in different level. So then we have value engineering uh, on each sections. Then of course design uh, solutions. We have to present them to the, to the local governments. Uh, master design, uh, special planning if there is any need of some places. Uh, of course public consultations. And finally, then uh, building permissions, what we have to get to start construction. And in the very end, of course, the, de uh, the design uh, supervision is also part of our, uh, our agreements. We started the preparation of tenders already in 2017. We had suppliers meeting in November 17. Tenders are in two stages, uh, different sections. We had uh, six site visits up to now, and design period is 24 months. Um, and we hope that that master design will be ready in 12 months. After master design, we can get the building permissions and start the construction. And of course, then the design supervision will last uh, approximately five years, or till the end of the, of the construction of these um, designs. So I will go uh, section by section explaining uh, where, we, uh, where we are with this. The first section starting from the north to south is uh, Tallinn uh, Durapla. It's 48 kilometer uh, long. Um, first tender started uh, 2018, April. We qualified uh, 10 uh, tenderers. Um, second st stage started in the end of the last year. And uh, in the uh, last day of, um, of February, we got five uh, beats. And today, the evaluation is going on. And the um, procurement commission told that uh, they can finish probably in April. So I really hope that in May, this year we will sign the next, next uh, design agreements. We are in a hurry on this section because Estonia planning to construct some of, uh, of this uh, section already during this 2022, till the 2022. So there should be no delays of the design so that we can deliver quickly uh, designs and the building permissions on, on this section. Next one is uh, Pärnu Durapla, uh, length is 71 kilometer. Uh, tender uh, is finished and uh, last uh, week we signed the uh, agreement as the first uh, detailed technical design agreement with uh, EDOM, the Spanish company. We had a kickoff meeting this uh, Tuesday. Um, 
And I can tell that during this um, four hours, we explained what exactly we want from designers and how they will deliver. Already uh, designing, uh, head of the alignment design proposed the first uh, solutions for us on uh, some alignment sections. It shows that they are really in of this, this design already and, and doing the work properly. Next section is uh, Pärnu to Estonian Latvian border. This uh, is, is the longest section in Estonia, 94 kilometers. Its uh, first race is uh, started last year. Uh, we again have uh, nine uh, tenderers. Um, and second stage will start in, in April. Uh, I hope the Procurement Commission will, will finalize their work on the qualification and uh, we can start the second, second phase. This tender will be a little bit different than the first six sections on the um, procurement part and also um, uh, procurement regulations will be a little bit different because we, we uh, try to do here also negotiations uh, with, with designers. Now the Latvia. Uh, first design in Latvia is uh, section through, through Riga, uh, 56 uh, kilometers. Uh, again, uh, last, last year we started the uh, first phase. Uh, six uh, tenderers were qualified on these sections. And I can tell that this is the most complicated uh, sections uh, for design. Um, because it's in Riga, and that's a lot of communications there. So second stage uh, is also finished. Unfortunately, only two beats received, but as I told, this is really complicated uh, design sections. And um, we really hope that we can sign the agreements in, in May also on this section. Second Latvian sections, starting from Vangaji, going to the, to the Misa River, through Salaspils. It's uh, 60 kilometer uh, long. Um, again, six tenders qualified. Um, we received three beats, so evaluation is going on. And um, again, the uh, commission uh, telling that in April they will finish, hopefully. And uh, that means that in, in May we can sign also this agreement. Lithuania, uh, first section from uh, Latvian uh, Lithuanian border up to the Ramigala. It's 92 kilometer uh, long. It's the um, longest section now in, in Lithuania. Uh, procurement started uh, also last year. Ten tenderants were qualified um, and four beats received again. We hope to sign this agreement also in, in May. And the first or second section in, in uh, Lithuania, but uh, sections what, where we signed the agreement yesterday, you saw that here, 76 kilometers uh, long. Uh, Again, procurement was started already 2017 together with the Estonian first section. We had uh, six uh, tenders qualified here and uh, four beats received. And we signed uh, yesterday an agreement with IDOM, again, the same uh, Spanish company. And we have kickoff meeting on this Friday tomorrow. And we will start the design. And there is two more sections, what we hope to get money for design during this uh, CEF1 agreement uh, changes. It's the section from Estonian Latvian uh, border to the Vangaji. It's the longest section in, uh, in uh, Latvia, 94 kilometers. We will start tenders in, in April, the first phase. Uh, hopefully the second phase will start uh, in November um, and 
this plan to, to sign, sign the agreement uh, somewhere in the February next, next year. Also, this section, uh, the tender will be a little bit different than the first uh, six sections, and the similar way as we are doing the third section in, in Estonia. So there will be negotiations uh, included into the tender procedure. So design sections are quite long, um, not very complicated, mainly in the forest area. Uh, close to the, to the sea, uh, there is uh, 11 bridges. Uh, bridge over the Kauja River is quite long. It's in the premium designs 2.2 kilometer long, but we foresee that this can be shortened. Then we have uh, road viaducts, 34 of them, uh, ecoducts, three of them. Uh, Railway Viaduct 6, and we have in two places um, main uh, gas pipelines crossings, but we have to redesign. Uh, I have also the project manager ready for these sections, and hopefully, and I think the kickoff meeting for the design preparation will, will be uh, next week. And the last section in, um, in Latvia, where we also hope that get money from this uh, SEF-1. It's the shortest, it's 45 kilometers, starting from uh, Misa River up to the Lithuanian-Latvian uh, border. Again, we will start in, in April, and hopefully all procedures are finished uh, in the next year, uh, January, and we can sign the February, that we still can finish all the designs till 2022. Uh, short sections, only four bridges, uh, 16 uh, road viaducts, uh, five railway viaducts, one ecoduct, and one um, oil pipeline crossing. Relatively simple section, and um, I think easy to, to design. And we have also uh, two sections in Lithuania. Uh, where today Lithuania is doing the special plan and from 2022 hopefully we can start the design of uh, Kaunas uh, Vilnius section and Kaunas uh, Polish border section. And lessons learned. So it was, as I'm telling this story already third time, you can understand that this is a very long uh, period. But the uh, qualification was really long for the first sections. And uh, the main reason for that was that, uh, as you heard from, uh, from Christian presentation before, there is 40,000 different documents to be analyzed. And of course, this takes too much time. And, uh, and as there was uh, mainly international um, companies made uh, consortiums, so each consortium member we had to almost qualify and uh, check their backgrounds and everything. That's why it took a long, long time. All next sections are much faster and easier because the same companies is almost participating on all tenders, so we have already know-how uh, of this, uh, this uh, how to deal with these uh, documents. Then also uh, Christian uh, mentioned that there was a lot of questions asked during the tender. Um, the questions were mainly about the FIDIC agreement, uh, why this is uh, not any more white FIDIC or something between uh, yellow and white. And the reason for that is that um, we plan to use fight FIDIC, but unfortunately fight FIDIC is only for the, for the uh, consult consultations work not for the design, and that's why we had to improve that. We made, we put uh, together some additional uh, clauses in the uh, agreement, and that was one reason why uh, the, the tenderers asked a lot of questions about this. But uh, hopefully we answered all the questions, and uh, as we have, uh, we received every section's uh, beat, so we understand 
well the agreement and they hopefully understand also the agreement well. Then the, there was questions about the cash flow. Um, with cash flow is the, the question that, uh, that we cannot, or we understood this moment that we cannot pay uh, the, to do the prepayment. Uh, now it's different. We, we uh, have now a new understanding, and that's why the, also the new tenders are a little bit uh, differently uh, structured. But uh, almost all tenders told that this will be the negative cash flow for them in the beginning. Uh, but but um, we have an um, uh, inception report where we can pay the first amounts, and then af after each delivery, we can pay uh, step by step. Uh, uh, to the designers that uh, hopefully the, the cash flow will be, or the negative cash flow will be a short period only. Then the risk allocation. Um, when we prepared uh, the technical uh, specification uh, with a large team, then um, we understood one way how we allocate the risks. Unfortunately, our, our bidders or tenders are uh, reading the differently. And there was a lot of questions how we will do that, and we are, we are not planning to put all the risk on the shoulder of the designers. Uh, we we uh, like that they will mitigate with us these risks, but uh, <clears throat> there was a lot of questions about uh, risk allocation during the tender. And technical specifications. Uh, <clears throat> we, um, some areas in the technical specification were not clear enough to the tenderers, and there was a lot of questions about that. Uh, we are now doing the uh, new ones. We tried to make ourselves more clear. The, the main questions were about, uh, again, uh, the signaling and communication part. So we didn't explain that uh, good enough to, to our tenders, but, but hopefully next ones are better. And um, that's it. We are lucky that we have beats. We, they are inside the budget, almost everywhere in each country. So uh, that means that we didn't, um, didn't plan wrongly the, the money. Uh, of course, I don't know, can I tell that, that, that there was from, from the budget uh, up to the four times, I think, from budget that the uh, beats. So, but uh, luckily, quite a many of them are almost close to the budget. So we, we still can, can finance them and do the designs. And that's it. Thank you, Kanda.